cassette resurgence is at an all-time high, and I don't know why. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John, and today, yes, unfortunately, for some reason here in 2018, I'm talking about this little thing. That would be the cassette tape. Cassettes dominated throughout the 1980s and even the 1990s, but it was an obvious sales decline when the CD came along to take its place. The CD is extremely high quality, and I still purchase them for that very reason. I even rip a lot to my computer just because of their pristine quality. Cassette tapes, now that was another story. Now, obviously, in the past five to ten years, we have seen an extreme growth in the vinyl industry, and that's something that makes my heart very happy. I'm a collector myself, as you can see right here behind me. I have hundreds of vinyl records, including some seven-inch ones over here right behind me that I have displayed. I'm proud of my collection, and I enjoy listening to music on vinyl. But what is that line that separates the cassette from the vinyl. Why is one resurgence cool and the other completely pointless? Last year, cassette sales grew 35% in the United States alone, jumping over 110% in their growth in the United Kingdom. That is an alarmingly high rate, and just for comparison's sake, whereas they sold probably around 10,000 in the UK in the year 2016, and 2017, they more than doubled that. And 2018 has already proven to be even a bigger year of growth, with many people selling their cassettes, and honestly, I blame Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Volume 1 back in 2014 for starting this whole damn craze. In that film, you could see Chris Pratt starring as Star-Lord, and you could see him also playing hits from the 80s on his cassette, Walkman. And it's something that a lot of people, not just movie buffs, but people everywhere started to embrace, and they were like, oh, what if I could get the awesome mix on cassette? And then, of course, it was offered at Record Store Day 2014 and beyond. I remember back in 2014, I actually picked up a copy of Skrillex's Recess on cassette for whatever reason. I saw it there, and it was relatively cheap, and I thought, this is so dumb, but I kind of have to hear dubstep and what that would sound like on a cassette tape. And here I am, I've been stuck with it ever since. And guess how many times I've actually played this? One, and it was the day that I got it home in 2014. I brought up the question myself, so what is the difference between the growing cassette resurgence and the vinyl resurgence? Well, of course, we might have nostalgia for the cassette tape because a lot of 90s kids like myself, we recognize like the Pocahontas sing-along soundtrack, and we find these old tapes and we go crazy, just like I did when I found this in my parents' basement a couple of years ago. It was an awesome find, but also something that I wasn't attached to because I was like, wow, what a great way to listen to music. It was like, no, this was a part of my childhood. The reason why I feel like the cassette resurgence is so stupid and just such a waste of money is because you're not getting any quality or any convenience with this. At least with the CD, you can skip around from track to track and you can fast forward, rewind to find your spot. Many cars still have CD players on them. What are manufacturers to do now that they see this growth in cassette sales? Are they to start putting cassette players back in cars as a standard option? I think and hope not. At least they haven't added the turntable yet, so I don't see the cassette option coming anytime soon. Even with playing vinyl records, you can set them down on the record player and you can lift up the needle and you can skip to the next track. Or if you want to hear it again, it's not that hard to find your spot in the groove to actually pick up the part of the song that you want to hear or move to the previous or next track. With cassettes, speaking from someone who grew up with these things, these monsters, these things that go down in quality every single time you play them, just like a VHS tape, it's something that I am not necessarily nostalgic for beyond the fact that I'm grateful to them. I had to listen to cassette tapes because my parents really banned me from listening to most music, so I had my own little boombox thing. It had a double-deck cassette player on it, and one of the sides had a record option so I could actually record stuff from the radio to cassette tapes. That was my only way of getting new music and saving the things that I really wanted to hear. Let's see what's on this bad boy. 
this tape's from about 2007. There it is. I was right on the money. Oh, and the tape cut off. Let's try our luck on side B instead. Hmm. Nothing better than a. Oh. Pretend you never saw this. That was outdated back when I was doing that between 2005 and 2008. So fast forward about 10 years when I actually bought this on cassette, this Skrillex tape in 2014. And I look back now and I think what a waste of money. It was only 10 bucks, but still, why do I need this? When would I ever listen to a cassette? for anything. I think what the problem is, is that it's another thing that bands or an artist can put out there or else their label can say, that's another moneymaker right now because all of the hipster kids think they're cool because they've got the new Ariana Grande on cassette. The UK rockers Muse put out their latest album Simulation Theory on cassette and while it's only going for about 10 bucks, actually it's out of stock right now. Damn, sorry to anyone who was wanting to pick that one up on that beautiful cassette. It's something that seems like a questionable move, but still they're from the UK and I guess the cassette business is booming, so obviously it called for it. 30 Seconds to Mars have their new god-awful album America out on cassette, so just in case you wanted to make your ears bleed in a different format, there you go. You've also got the new 5 Seconds of Summer, which you can scoop up for about 10 bucks. Young Blood is out on cassette which makes absolutely zero sense. The majority of their fans are probably in their teenage years and had never seen a cassette until some of their favorite bands or artists started selling them and they're like, oh, I guess this is cool because they'll just buy anything that's fed to them. It's supply and demand. People are obviously out there buying cassettes for some reason, so stop giving them the demand. People would not be printing cassette tapes in 2018 if there wasn't some sort of demand for it. There is no reason to be listening to cassettes over CDs, over vinyl, over MP3s, or over streaming. It's another thing to waste your money on, and it's consumerism at its finest. Anyways, guys, that's just my two cents. If you want to be edgy and be a hipster and do something new, start a record collection. I promise it'll be more worthwhile for you in the future, especially if you end up having to sell it someday. Also, a huge thank you to you guys for 100,000 subscribers. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. If you would like to see the last video that I uploaded to this channel, then please tap right over here or tap here for another recent vinyl-related video that I posted. Other than that, you can connect with me on social media at all of the links you see here in the description, and I'll see you soon for more on Beyond AR TV.